I found I found out what Fidise stands for. I've been in oh. this region for years, and I've, I just know Fidise. So, Fidise, Ecumenical Foundation for Holistic Development, Training, and Education. Our dear, dear sister, Blanca Puma, is the executive director of Fidise. And it is a nonprofit Christian institution that works for human and community development projects with poor and indigenous with poor indigenous and peasant communities up the Ecuadorian Andes Mountains. It is a mission partner with Global Ministries of the Christian Church Disciples of Christ. Blanca, I turn it over to you now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, now I am going to share the 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 screen, please let me know if you can see and you can hear, please. I can see and I can hear. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you, thank you, my friends. Always is a pleasure, is an honor for me to share the time with you. The same, when Kathy said, Blanca, maybe you have time to talk with you, with us. And Kathy say, probably you don't have enough time. I say, no. definitivamente, yes, yes, yes. Always is a pleasure for me to talk with all of you, dear friends. Um, now I'm talking a little about the COVID-19 situation in Ecuador and especially with the situation with the Fedice family. <laughs> in our group was talking something about this and, and say, yeah, the situation here in Ecuador is very, very different that in US, for example. Here in Ecuador, around 32% of people uh, have uh, been uh, already received our vaccinates. I say received because yesterday I received my second vaccinate. And if I, I just tired or something, it's because I have, I have my second yesterday. Uh, <laughs> here, here um, around 4,000, 4, 4,070 people is um, infected by the COVID. And unfortunately, around 2,000, uh, 21,000 people died with the COVID-19. Yes, I said there are very difficult times um, in this, this situation, but always, always I try to focus in positive things that we have with the Fedice family, we have with our families. And again, I say, Thanks to God because Fedice is able to continue working with faith, with joy, with joy, with hope, with the people from the communities. And when you ask about our new re reality, and um, many change. Yeah, in the picture you can see the people from Tucumbicucho is the last community that Hugo visit. Uh, we provide the last um, uh, money, the, the last resources from them. But I say it again, and I want to make sure about this. Our reality change, but no our passion to, for working with the people from the communities. And yes, they are using masks. And sometimes they are not using because they are on the field. But the majority of time when we need to go, actually I'm planning to go uh, two weeks later to Plan Chaloma. I am going to go to the communities after one year and a half, and probably, probably I am going to cry first and then to say hi, <laughs> I know about me. And yes, new, our new re reality, the change is because we, I'm working from my house and I'm continue to try to keep in touch with the people from the communities with the Fedice team. And we have our monthly meetings, our, uh, we have our training meetings with the people. And yes, yes, sometimes it's not possible us because in some of the communities they don't have the internet they don't have the cell phones and it's not possible for them to have the, the training and here in ecuador we are using the uh, zoom we are using uh, whatsapp uh, but uh, i talk with the uh, before i said but it's good for me because i have the opportunity to stay to to share the time in many places at the same time and also, as Kathy said before, it is possible for me to visit U.S. many times during this time. I was with, a, with you in some uh, meetings. I, was, uh, uh, I participate in training meetings from global ministries. And thank you. Thank you, God, I used to say for, this, for these opportunities. 
We have here in Ecuador, we already have a new board and the pastor Carmen Castañeda, uh, she is the new president of the board here, the FEDICE board in Ecuador. Uh, we share with them also training people. In this case, we talk with the people about empowerment women. They are the teachers, they are the, 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 the mothers who take care of the, the children of the daycare centers. Our realities, uh, I say it again, uh, change, yes, but thanks to God, our brothers and sisters from the communities are able to continue with their projects. Thanks to God for this. And thanks to God for all of you because you continue helping us. And I like to, to show the evidence. I like to show this uh, during the pandemic time. The projects continue with them, the, with the animals, the agricultural projects, different kind of projects the, with cows, with pigs, with guinea pigs, with uh, sheep. Again, thanks to God, they are able to continue with the projects, with different kind of projects. Uh, especially in the communities uh, located around four hours from Quito, they don't use masks because uh, it's interesting. They are, uh, they are just a few cases of uh, the people infected by COVID. And say, probably I need to move to Pusir. <laughs> but, but, later, but later they say, oh no, Blanquita, we have more cases here. I say, no, I, I continue. I, have, uh, I continue working by the comfort of my house. Um, the change, yes, it was necessary to make some change. It was it's time to make some change. For example, you can see in the picture, the recycle. Uh, she is uh, Maruja. She uh, lives in La Pradera, is one of the communities. And in this time, Probably you know more and the, the, about this in US, but here we are using more plastics. We are using more brought by bottle of water and she is working on this, the recycling, collecting from the houses, collecting and the community know, oh, Maruja is uh, working in the recycling. They keep the, 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 the plastic bottles and something uh, uh, around the plastic and they, they are working in this, they recycling. Uh, we have an, a group in Sua, Sua is located in Esmeralda, six hours from here, from Quito. They are working in this project to prepare food, but it's not possible. Now I say this, is, is, we are able to go, but we, we, we don't want to go because we need to take care of ourselves. They are preparing food to take. The people ask, uh, for example, when, when was the Father's Day, uh, Gloria, Glorita, the, her name say, oh, Blanquita, the people ask to prepare 30 uh, uh, dishes, 30 plates, or go to the, the, the houses. I say, go ahead, very good, good, working with them. And they prepare something like this. They, they, they have the places, uh, thanks to the help of global ministries, they provide some resources for the, uh, the, new, the new hub is the name of the new kitchen that they are working. Uh, with their resources, they, they try to organize a kitchen and they prepare. Sometimes I say they, they prepare the food and they go um, deliver to the people that they asking for food. But now some change is a good change. I, I say it again, I always, I try to, to, to see the positive sides. Always, always, every, everything have a positive side. In this case, for example, she is in San Miguel community. Uh, she, uh, this is the place before the pandemic and she is the place after the pandemic. What's happening with this um, uh, uh, small business, family business is, uh, I was talking with in our group, I said, we were in martial law here in Ecuador. It was possible for us to go outside uh, only a few hours to, to buy something and uh, come back to our houses. But that places the, uh, like this, they were able to, to stay open, to, to have open because the people needs to buy something, to buy the food. And it was possible for them and it was positive uh, thing for them. Yeah, the new realities for us is the activities with the communities. We continue recovery of the funds. We, we continue with new projects and training and monitoring the project. How? In this situation, sometimes I say, okay, thanks to God. 
thanks to God because the people are very responsible. The people inside the communities in some cases, like here, for example, in Makatapulu, in another communities, using masks, using the, trying to, to use the, uh, the, the measures, the cleaning measures, the hygiene measures, they work. And some of them went to the Marco's house. Uh, he is Marco. Marco is one of our, uh, is the technician in Cotopaxi. And the people, they, they are from Tucumbi Cucho. They, are, they went to the Marcos house and paid. And for that reason, we decided to start a new project with them. And sometimes the people, I say it again, inside the community. I try to, to share with you the, 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 the little story about Maria Lucrecia. They said, okay, we want to continue working with, the, with, with Pedice. We want to continue, we want that you continue helping us and for that reason, Maria Lucrecia, Lucrecia said, we join a great responsibility with cancel the, 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 the interest. Besides the situation, in spite of the, the situation that we are living here, I think so is the same in US. Many, many people here lost the employees. They are unemployed people now, especially the people in the communities. They say thanks, thanks because we have our own projects to continue. And the same, for example, she is Paulina. Paulina used to have a project to rent tents, chairs, tables for the social event. When I was talking with Marco about this, Marco said, yeah, it's good. It, it was good, very, very good uh, business because we, we love parties here in Cotopaxi. We love to go outside to, you know, to dance the parties, but no, in this time, it's not possible. It's not permitted. Uh, it's not permitted to, to have parties. And for that reason, Paulina decided to change uh, her business, the family. It's not possible for, to, to continue with the project with ten, we rent tents, chairs, chairs, tables, but it's possible to open, I guess, as I said before, like uh, the small groceries. Um, but she said, there are not many, many profits, but we have the resources to uh, provide the food for the farm. Uh, sometimes some change that we have is the, with the daycare centers, with the, with the uh, elderly centers, it was necessary to close. And we have an um, organization, it's a social guns. Before the pandemic, they used to prepare the lunch, the breakfast, and to take them to the, the daycare centers, to the elderly centers. But after the pandemic, they, it was necessary to close. And we decided to help them with the ration foods. Thanks to you, thanks to our friends, our friends in US, it was possible for us to, to prepare ration foods and prepare and deliver to the people and they one of the groups. But after that, they say, okay, it's not possible for us to stay in our house. We need to find some, some way to work. And they ask for a credit with Pedice. We provide a credit of $6,000 and now they are working uh, and preparing non-perishable food for kids for the children, for the adult people, and they are they preparing the small uh, uh, food rations and delivered to the kids, to the families. Preparing food uh, rations and, the, the, and delivered to the family. And I would like that you can uh, hear from Sarita. She is...
Uh, there is another example of the how the people need to change how this reality uh, changed in our uh, Ecuador in, with our communities, with our brothers and sisters from the communities. She is Gloria. She, they are they, they are from Sua Women Group, and they are organizing a new kitchen. Uh, as I said, preparing food for the people. Um, as I said, always working with happiness, with faith, with hope. They are enjoying the time. In spite of the situation, thanks to God, they are able to enjoy the time. Uh, laughing and you know, working. Continue trying to find, but working with happiness, with faith and hope. And as I said, uh, thanks to God, we were able to continue with the projects. In this case, uh, Hugo from the FEDIS uh, team, she is, he is the coordinator, uh, delivered the funds from one communities. In this case, Marco, in Cotopaxi, and in another project, uh, Nueva Vida, the Yacubamba, we are providing the resources to the people. Um, they are the new members of the board. The people continue, I say it again, thanks to God, they are very responsible people. They want to continue working for the reason we want to continue deliver the resources for the projects. In this case, in Otavalo, in Cotopaxi, in Pusir, working with them. I say it again, they are new reality. We need to use masks, but again, we uh, our reality changed, but now our passion to work with the people from the communities, to work with the people from the communities continue, thanks to God again. Sometimes it's necessary to went to the communities to training. In this case, for example, uh, the women's group in Romerillos, they are receiving training from Hugo and from Carmita, the new president and the uh, monitoring and practical training. When we delivered the resources after one month, Marco went again to the community and uh, he was able to practice with them and to, to, to train them and practice with, with them. Yeah, it was necessary to make some change to continue with activities at the daycare centers also. And the situation here, the bad situation is, you know, the people, they don't have enough resources to have cell phones, no, <laughs> smart cell phones. What is smart cell phones the people in, in the communities ask, ask? But sometimes it's not possible for them to have something like this. And the, the, the teachers needs to go to the houses to train the, 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 the kids. I invite to hear this also, please. This is the new reality for our children from the communities. And yeah, this, with, with the same with the Fedice family, it was necessary to make some change. Now, I say that every two years we change the assembly, the board, and we have meetings. She is uh, again the new president of Fedice board here in Ecuador. She is Pastor Carmen Castañeda. And it was possible for me to have meetings with the people from Global Ministries also, with the Fedice committee. And uh, they want to say something to all of you, their friends from Oregon and Southwest Idaho.
Uh, again, thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, because I say thanks, God, for uh, only God uh, let me to be an instrument to continue working with the people from the communities. As always, as always my commitment to continue working with the women, with the men, the children, the, the, the family, in summary, from the communities. They are my inspiration to continue. They are, um, as I, I just always used to say, to continue working with faith, with joy and hope. I don't want to finish this to, I don't want to forget about someone who is very important in my life, my dear husband, Luis. In this time, as I said, I'm working here in my house. <laughs> Sometimes I said, okay, I need, I need your place. Go, okay, hasta la vista, baby. I need to use this place. Actually, I'm using now the Luis's office for the, the internet, for the Zoom, but thanks God, I said, thanks God for Luis's life. Thanks God, because only God knows, uh, let us to receive uh, uh, the blessings to continue working. I only want to, to pass you the greetings, the blessings, the gratitude for all of the people from the communities to all of you, dear friends. Thank you so much for everything, for everything and God bless you. Thank you. And I want to finish with this verse from the Bible. Again, continue working with faith, with work, and with joy and hope. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Blanca. Thank you so much. It's always such a joy to have you with us. Thank and you. To hear, and to hear about your passion. And, for... and in this time, I'm not crying. I try to, okay, okay, <laughs> take it easy, take your time, no cry, no cry. Sometimes it's so hard for me. But thank you, thank you so much for everything to all of you, my dear friends. You're welcome. You can cry with us anytime, Blanca. We, <laughs> totally, we totally understand. Totally. Yes, thank you. <laughs> 